Butch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Battlefoot in another exciting adventure, Ben and Gulch. After their last adventure, Clutch Cargo and company are commissioned by the Smithsonian Institute to trace old western stagecoach trails. Wonder where this one leads to, Clutch? Not sure, Spinner. But it's our job to find out. We've been on it two days, and it just seems to go on and on. <laughs> We're running low on water, too. The old stagecoach has needed water. We ought to spot a water hole soon. What is it, Paddlefoot? What do you see? It looks like a marsh or something. It's a water hole, Clutch. We're in luck. Let's get out and fill our cakes. Hey, Paddlefoot, wait for us. Oh, boy, maybe it's deep enough for a swim. Hold it, Paddlefoot. Look. Danger. This water hole poisons. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Paddlefoot. Let's get out of here. Clutch, look. Our truck. It's sinking. Quick, Sam. It broke through the crust. Our supplies. What are we going to do now? I still got the map and compass. Let's start hiking. <sighs> Come on. These old stagecoach tracks are fairly clear. We've followed them for hours. They're bound to leave somewhere. What's that up ahead? It's, it's a stagecoach. Hurry. Right. Head it off. <laughs> Hold it! Hold it! Stop! We just want to get on as passengers. Passengers? Real live passengers? Boy, I haven't had one of them since the Grover Cleveland ran for president. Hop aboard and let's get going. Get up. Yahoo! Well, by the way, my name is Cargo. Well, mine's Fargo, Cargo. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Fargo. Fortunate for us to find a real live stagecoach line still in operation. Why, I've been running supplies between Dead End Gulch and Last Chance Junction for 50 years. This is fun, huh, Paddlefoot? Sure peaceful out here, Mr. Fargo. Was peaceful, you mean, Mr. Cargo? A bunch of scalawags come down out of Rattlesnake Creek a while back. I think it's the old Buck Buzzard Brothers. They've been giving us lots of trouble. Can't your marshal stop them? We ain't got a marshal. Didn't need one till now. This narrow pass is the entrance to Dead End Gulch. Only way to get back out, too. <laughs> well, I'll be. Whoa there, Nelly. Looks like a log. Huh. Who in tarnation does a thing like that? Great, you guys. <laughs> Uh-oh, a hold-up Western style. What will happen to Clutch and Company? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Ed and Gulch. You remember last time, Clutch and company were looking for old stagecoach trains. While following one, their truck suddenly sank in quicksand. With only a map and compass to guide them, they started out. They were soon picked up by a stagecoach driver, Fargo. As they entered a narrow pass... This here is a stick-up. You two in the back seat, up with your hands. You too, horse face. <laughs> It's them ding-busted scallywags from Rattlesnake Creek again. Cut out that chit-chat and toss down that strong box. We better do what the man says, Clutch. Boys, let's get out of here. Boy, this is a heavy one. Wow, that was a close one, Paddlefoot. 
Those were real live stagecoach robbers. <laughs> hey, Fargo, how come you threw down that gold without even a fight? <laughs> Happens every day. <laughs> How come you can laugh at something like this? Rest easy there, my friend. <laughs> that weren't nothing but fool's gold. We ends pay them pesky critters off with it all the time. Keeps peace. <laughs> they get a bank full of fool's gold. <laughs> Think they're billionaires. <laughs> I hit the real stuff under the seat. Clever thinking. But you should elect a marshal and stop this lawlessness. I talked to the mayor only yesterday. He said he'd think about it. Howdy, mayor. What you doing? Oh, hi, Fargo. Decided to call an election for a city marshal. Who you got for candidates? Ballots open to anyone who thinks he's brave enough to face them rotten varmints. But I'm afeard we ain't got a man like that within 100 miles. Hope you'll find a candidate soon, Mayor. I was just hit again outside town. I don't know how much longer we can keep this up. We're about to run out of fool's gold. Out of man. Uh, big bad bill? Why, that's the gang that held up the stage. Yep. But like the mayor says, ain't no one around here feels up to stopping them. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that, boys. They want to elect me, Marshal. But, boss, I don't see your name on that election notice. Who else will have the nerve to run me out of town except me? Of course, if there was, pow, pow, pow. What's he mean, pow, 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 Clutch? Not sure, Spinner. But I aim to find out. Hold on there, mister. If the mayor doesn't object, I'd like to get on that ballot. Oh, boy, Clutch. I was hoping you'd speak up. Tell him it's okay, mayor. Why, you're, uh, yeah, of course, of course, uh, Mr. Cargo. Uh, you'd be glad to put your name on the ballot. Well, well, so I'm going to have an opponent after all. For a while, that is. Then it'll be pow, pow, pow. Come on, boys. Gee, Clutch. Those crooks mean business. Could be, Spinner. But somebody has to stand up to those guys. All right, you guys. Oil up them shooting irons. We got some fancy target practice coming up. <laughs> we got you, boss. Bullets for ballots. Sounds like they mean business. What's in store for Clutch and Company? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Dead End Coach. You remember last time, Clutch and Company with Fargo were held up while driving the stagecoach. Everyone knows it was Big Bad Bill and the gang, but no one will stop him. Clutch decides to run for Marshall. When the bad guys find out, all up them shooting irons. We got some fancy target practice coming up. <laughs> Get your ballots in. Everybody must vote. Here, take my ballot. Come on. Over here. here, you guys. Take this bunch of votes for me over and stuff them in a ballot box. I don't want this here cargo fellow winning on no fluke. But what if he tries to stop us, boys? Then we go pow, 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 eh, boys? You got the idea, boys. Now go get started stuffing. The coast is clear. Quick, start stuffing. Hold it. Hold it right there. Just one vote per person. That's all the law allows. Uh, clutch cargo. <laughs> uh, I was uh, just going to vote for a few friends of mine. And I came along to see that no one interfered. That's quite a six-shooter you got there. Mind if I take a look? Not at all, cargo. I've still got my spare. I haven't shot one of these things in years. Do you mind? Go right ahead. But don't get your fingers stuck in the nozzle. Everybody go. Hey, you two. Come back here. Where in Sam Hill you two running? 
I thought I told you to stuff that ballot box. We tried to stuff it, boss, but Clutch Cargo got in our way. Yeah, he cheats. He knows how to use a gun. Do you two really eyes what you've done? Clutch Cargo slobbles get elected, and you know what that means? Yeah, boss. It'll be pow, pow, pow for us. Clutch Cargo, you've been unanimously elected. You are now our city marshal. Congratulations, Clutch. I knowed you could do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, and we'd better break the bad news to Big Bad Bill. Spinner, you and Paddlefoot can be my number one deputies. Well, you be careful now. Big Bad Bill and his boys are tricky as cornered coyotes. Now listen, you guys. We got a great thing going here. Pleasant climate, good pickings, hicks to push around and full of goodies. And I, Big Bad Bill, aims to keep it that way. Gee, boss, you mean we got to face up to the new Marshal Clutch Cargo? Right, and here he comes now. Follow me. Right there, Big Bad Bill. They don't call me Big Bad Bill for nothing. There ain't room in this town for both of us. You're right. And I'll give you to the count of ten to get out. Fair enough, Marshal. Start counting. One. Two. Oh, my gosh. Clutch is outgunned. Three to one. Three. Four. Five. Hey! Clutch doesn't even have a gun. Six. What a spot to be in. Clutch facing a gang with no gun. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Dead End Coach. You remember last time, Clutch and company came into Dead End with Fargo. When Clutch found out how lawless the town really was, he decided to run for Marshall and clean it up. When the henchmen found out, they decided to do away with Clutch. Now, Clutch faces them without even a gun. Hey, Clutch doesn't even have a gun! Six... Seven. Get ready, boys. But, boss, he ain't even got a gun. Eight. He must be up to something. Nine. Ten. Yeah, hoo, 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 hoo. It's an ambush. Help, help! Don't you believe it? They look too trigger happy to shoot me, Clutch. <laughs> So I thought I'd better ride shotgun for ye. Thanks, Fargo. I was getting a little worried my bluff might not work. Them sidewinders sure skedaddled out of town. We ought to have some peace and quiet around here for a change. You can come out now, Paddlefoot. The shooting's all over. They're gone for now. Let's keep our guard up just in case. That clutch cargo tricked us this time, but now it's our turn. Oh, no, boss. We don't have to face him again, do we? Where's your sporting blood, Willie? Haven't you forgotten how we arrived here in the first place? You mean... You mean the... the, the... Oh, yeah. I plumb forgot about that. Why is it you two make me think of everything? Come on, it's parked just behind that rock. Ah, there she is. Right where we hit her. <laughs> Remember the day, boys, when we just happened to find this armored car parked at the curb with its motor running? Yeah. And the driver was in heaven coffee with his hands up because Willie had a gun in his back. Come on, you two. Hop in. We'll give Clutch Cargo the shock of his life with this armored truck. His fancy shooting won't do him a bit of good against this armor plate and this bulletproof glass. I get it, boss. We're going to make a little withdrawal from the bank. You said it. But, boss, we're loaded down with greenbacks from the last haul. That stuff's hot. Besides, who wants a bunch of dirty old greenbacks when there's gold to be had? Yeah, we can dump this lettuce and load up with the real stuff. Look, 
clutch? What's that? It's it's an armored car. It's headed right for the bank. Brace yourself, boys. The bank is about to open for business. That was Big Bad Bill and his boys back again. We gotta think of something fast. Too late, Clutch. They're getting away. Fresh <laughs> order, whole thing. Come on, aboard the mayor's car. Hop in, Marshal. We'll catch him. Those varmints left all those greenbacks and carted off all that worthless fool's gold. The fool's... Hey, boss, here comes Clutch Cargo and some kind of hot rod. Oh, yeah? Hey, Willie, get ready with that turret gun. Right, boss. How can Clutch and Fargo avoid being hit by gang bullets? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Dead End Gulch. You remember last time, Clutch and company with Fargo had run the bad guys out of town, but they decided to come back with the aid of their little friend and armored car. As Clutch and Fargo started after them with another car... Hey, Willie, get ready with that gun turret. Right, boss. Keep your heads down. Their aim can't be too good on this rocky road. Hey, Willie, it's my turn to take a crack at him. You're having all the fun. I don't care whose turn it is. Keep blasting. round of ammunition, and they're still coming. What do we do now? We'll outrun them until I think of something. Hey, they stopped firing. They must have run out of ammunition. Clutch, we got them trapped. This road ends up there at the Box Canyon Mine. Good. So be careful. It may be just a trick. We can't go nowhere from here. We better do something quick, boss. Here comes the marshal. Stand back, you guys. I know how to stop him. Clutch Cargo and his pals. Now we'll backtrack and find the road out of here. With all this heavy gold, my brakes won't hold. We're going to crash! Okay, you guys. This is the end of the line. Gee, Marshal Cargo, we've learned our lesson. We should have paid attention when they told us crime don't pay. It sure doesn't. And you'll have plenty of time in jail to think about it. The Smithsonian Institute will be pleased when we bring back a real live stagecoach and driver. We're returning the money to its owners. Yeah, Clutch. 
<laughs> Biggest payload I ever had. Yeah, and Powderfoot is riding shotgun. He's not taking any more chances. <laughs> <laughs> and so ends the story of Crutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Dead End Coach. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.